Okay, then we have kinds of duties. Just like how for rights we see different kinds for duties as well, there are they are divided into different kinds. First of all, we have legal duties and moral duties. A legal duty is an act, the opposition, the opposite of which is legal wrong. If we are not performing this legal duty, it becomes a legal wrong because it is mandatory for us to perform it. Under law, we have an obligation. If we are not doing it, that means indirectly we are violating the law. So it is a legal wrong. It is like a crime or it is some kind of a wrong, we can say, like paying income tax. If somebody is not paying, it is a legal wrong. Fine may be imposed. It is an act recognized as a duty by law and treated as such for the administration of justice. It is something which is very much needed. That's why under some legislation, under some rule book, it is made compulsory and we should be performing it as well. A moral or a natural duty is an act, the opposite of which is moral or natural wrong. A duty may be moral, but not legal and legal, but not moral. So we might see different types of duties. Sometimes it may be moral duty, but not a legal duty. Sometimes it may be a legal duty, but it might not be a moral duty. Like that also, uh, we can see examples as well. Okay, like different types of crimes, which we see. Sometimes it might not be like it, it might be something which is not like a moral duty it's, it's completely like a legal obligation like if someone wants to open a shop or some establishment or wants to start some business the person might need to register his entity so registering the entity as such there is nothing associated with morality right it's just a procedure it's just a formality that the person needs to do there might not be a moral factor involved there same way, sometimes it might only be a moral duty, but may not be a legal duty. Like we may say, helping whoever is in need, whoever is suffering, is our moral duty. But that might not be practically possible in each and every situation. So it is not a legal duty. That's why we see different classifications, okay? Yes. So this is the first one. Second, we have is positive or negative duties. Positive or negative duties. Now, when the law obliges us to do an act, the duty is called positive. When the law obliges us to forbear from doing an act, it is called as negative, very simple. Paying income tax, it is a positive act. We need to do it ourselves, right? We need to actively do something in order to perform our obligations. So it will be positive duty. We need to do something. Negative duty as in, we should not harm another person's reputation. Defamation, right? We should not be harming another person's reputation without any justification. So law is prohibiting us. Law is forbidding us from doing something. That is a negative duty. You should not do this. And positive is you should do it to perform your duty, right? Without doing anything also, we can perform our duties, which is nothing but negative duty. Not doing is the duty. Yes. Then we have primary and secondary duties. Primary duties are those which exist per se and independently of any other duty. An example of primary duty is to forbear from causing personal injury to another. A secondary duty is that which has no independent existence, but exists only for the enforcement of other duties. For example, it is duty to pay a man damages for the injury is already done to the person. So primary as in it is some kind of an independent duty. It is coming all alone, independently it is coming. But when we talk about secondary duties, it is resulting from something. First of all, we had an obligation not to injure a person. In yes. case we are doing, we would have another duty to compensate for the injury that we have caused. So it is related or it's coming along with another 
duty. Okay, yeah, so that is primary and secondary duty. Primary is like the very basic, not coming from some other duty. It's the original uh, one, right? Having its own existence. Universal, general, and particular duties. Universal duties are those which are binding on all normal citizens of the community. General duties are those which are binding on specific classes of uh, normal person. And particular duties are those which are binding between persons who have voluntarily undertaken them. So as a general duty, we can say being a citizen of India, being a resident of India, we have an obligation to follow the law. Or maybe during COVID, we have an obligation to wear mask, maintain distance, social distancing. What would be particular duty? Uh, like uh, the other one, right? So that is general duty. What is particular? Like universal is like we should think about health and safety of everyone, okay? Then there is a general duty. We need to wear a mask because that is made compulsory. Particular duty would be Maybe particularly government officers are assigned this job or maybe police officers are assigned this job that you need to impose penalties, fines on people who are roaming outside without wearing a mask. That's a particular duty. Everyone is not having that duty. It is given to those designated people only, right? Or maybe someone might voluntarily come forward that I want to help people who are suffering from COVID, right? These would be particular duties specifically applicable to someone. Universal as in universally, it's applicable to everyone. General as in, yes, whoever is going out, if you are inside your house, no problem. You can roam without a mask, but if you are going outside, then you need to wear a mask. That would be like a general duty. Okay, is it clear? Clear, yeah, madam, yes. Relative and absolute duties. Again, relative duty is one for which there will be corresponding duty. Absolute duty is one which is not having any sort of corresponding duty. So it is an absolute duty coming and having its own uh, existence relative as in something coming along with it. Like if I am not wearing a mask and roaming outside, police officer imposes fine, I should not be arguing with them or I should not be I should not be violent with the police officer. I should obey whatever order police officer is giving. So that is nothing but relative duty coming along with it. Okay. Yes. Again, when we talk about these different types, some types might be overlapping as well. We might see one uh, type which overlaps with two, three different types of duties as well. Okay. So they are, so rights and duties are Coexistence, coexistent, and whenever there is a right, yes. corresponding yes. duty will always be there. Yeah. Every duty of the person must be duty towards some person in whom the right is vested. Conversely, every right must be given. So when we say we have a duty, we might have a duty towards one specific person, a group of persons, or the entire population in general. Okay, that would depend on what kind of right it is, what kind of a duty it is. Hey, before we continue, I wanted to inform you about my life mentorship program for LLB students or law aspirants. Law subjects and law topics need detailed clarity. We get that with the help of cases, examples and detailed explanation. It's definitely not possible to include everything in these short videos. If you find my videos easy to understand and you are looking for some professional help, in preparing for your examination, you can join my live mentorship program. Here you will be getting exam tips, answer writing skills, detailed notes that you can refer for your examination, cases, examples, and in a very easy way, topics will be explained. I have live classes going on for a lot of subjects as of now. To know more about it, you can drop me a message on this WhatsApp number. I'm also helping a lot of students in writing their assignments. If you need any such help or for any queries, any suggestions, you can drop me a message on this WhatsApp number. And now let's continue with our video. Mm -hmm.